Hi everybody, welcome to a deck primer for a deck that I've been working on. This is the first version of the deck. After the matches, we'll talk about what was good and what was bad about the deck, and we'll come up with a more final version. But starting out, we're going to be doing a healing poison deck. Pretty straightforward synergy here. We're going to try and heal our dudes and poison their dudes and win attrition wars. So the cards we've chosen, let's go through each one. We got Purify, a lot you can say about Purify, probably the best common in the game in my opinion. Level 1 Purify is all you need, there's almost nothing this card can't say no to for just one energy, that's it, it's just awesome. Um, next card we're going to be using is Poison, obviously because it's one of the main themes of our deck. We're also going to be using Regeneration. I like it better than Hallelujah just because Regeneration is good even when your guys are near full health because if they're in combat, it negates damage that they're currently taking. Um, it can be undone with Purify though, so it's got that handicap. We got Marine Craig. He launches poison at the uh, other player, if we're lucky, we can catch nearby enemies. His power range is kind of small still. He's only level 3. Um, we're going to be doing these uh, deck primers and tests, trying to do as many base, fresh level 3s as possible. Some cards will be stronger because I play those cards. We got Angel Wendy. She's a range healer. Again, healing and poison is the two ideas we're putting in this deck. Alien Clyde, again, poison. He's in here for the theme. Friar Jimmy, healing. He's in here for the theme. Alien Queen Red. Now, she's actually why I wanted to build this deck as the first deck that we're going to do a primer on because her poison ability is so good. It doesn't wear off. They have to purify it off. And if they're not playing Purify, then their dudes are just inevitably going to die. So Alien Queen Red is one of our powerhouse trunk cards. We're going to be really focusing on when we time her because she can make a huge swing in our favor. For Tank, we got Zen Cartman. He's going to try and get us into situations where your opponent overcommits. We want them to have enough things on the board that when we drop Alien Red and we drop Poison, it's going to be pretty devastating to uh, everything that they just played. Dog Poo, he's in here just because uh, we really just needed a solid uh, fighter, someone who can deal some strong damage, take some strong damage, and he really fit the bill best for this slot. Osimo, same thing as uh, Zen Cartman. We're going to use him to get your opponent to overcommit. We're going to use him because he walks really slow, and if we stick him behind us in an opening play, much like Zen Cartman, we can really drag the battle to our side of the board to start, which is where we want everything to begin. We want to uh, overwhelm and then oppress. That's going to be our main strategy. And lastly, we got a Nelly in here. Um, again, kind of the same reason for the Dog Poo. We really just needed a good solid fighter, and Nelly has the advantage of being able to uh, fight rats pretty effectively. So we don't have to throw our poison just to deal with rats or birds. We don't have to throw our, uh, our Alien Queen Red just to deal with rats and birds. So it, and rats and birds and gnomes are pretty common, so we kind of want Nelly out there to, just to deal with them. Just as she's a meta choice, I would say. So with that, how are we going to play the deck? As I mentioned with both the Cartman tanks, we're going to be playing in a way that's going to drag our opponent onto our side in the beginning of the match. We're going to, if they overcommit, either drop an Alien Queen Red or a Poison, try and punish them for getting too much stuff out on the table. If they play it out slowly, 
we'll probably go for Alien Clyde and hit whatever the first thing they drop out was. Um, maybe just play healing back up with Friar Jimmy and Wendy. Um, if we don't have a tank, probably best thing to start off with would be a Nelly or Dog Pool if we have it. Um, as far as what else to say, we'll have to go to matches to find out more than that. So that'll be the end of the deck primer. I'll see you in the matches video coming up.